Welcome to Spoken Reviews, home of the Spoken Reviews. Today, guys, we have a quick review of the Fitbit Charge 3. All right, guys, when you open up the packaging, you're going to have the, uh, the Fitbit and the, the charger will be included. This is a proprietary charger, so it only works for the Fitbit Charge 3. It's different from the Charge 2's charger. Uh, if you do lose this, you will have to, uh, of course, buy another one online. But works really easy. Uh, good to go. Um, also, this is pretty much what you're going to get in the packaging. So pretty pretty simplistic packaging, uh, nothing special. Uh, as far as the watch goes, by far, this is my favorite uh, band for a watch. You can see it's nice and thick, uh, but it breathes easy. So I've, I've had this for the last two weeks, and as you can see, uh, fits really easy. Um, and this is kind of one of the big differences between Fitbit and the other chargers. Um, Something as small as the comfort of the band and how easy it is can make a big difference. So definitely, uh, definitely love the band and how it fits. So now the screen on this Fitbit uh, Charge 3 is fantastic for a black and white screen. Uh, as you can see, all the important details that you need there, uh, the time, the steps, uh, the, the calories burned, everything you need is there. Um, the one thing that I will say that would take to the next level is I think they need to have a colored screen um in comparison to the other chargers so there's a lot of different options out there fitbit is my favorite option uh having a band instead of a full watch is my favorite path to go because i prefer regular watches uh i just wish this came with a with a color screen and my fear of, of sticking with the charge three is that they're gonna there's gonna be a charge four they'll have a color screen and they'll come out later this year um and i would have already you know, been bought into this one. So that's kind of my, my biggest fear and hesitation with keeping this. So I'm thinking about taking it back. Uh, but I really do like this. So as far as just a, a pure band, uh, this is probably my favorite, one of my favorite options. Um, definitely really good. So one of the things that I really have been enjoying is the sleep tracking. So Fitbit does a really great job of tracking your sleep. Uh, what you get basically, it's, it's using uh, the monitors in the back to, to track when you sleep. I'll break down your sleep between, you know, REM cycles, deep sleep, but also show you what, what, if you're resting, if you're light sleep, and if you get up. Uh, so definitely really good to kind of have that biometric. And since the battery life in this is so fantastic, uh, they advertise seven days. I've pushed to the limit, and I've got probably four and a half to five days. Never, I haven't gotten the, the full seven days, but I am doing the uh, the constant heart rate tracking. Uh, so that, that can definitely uh, have a negative impact on the battery. Uh, but... Battery life's fantastic. The sleep tracking, fantastic. The steps seem to be extremely accurate. I've worn this along with another fitness tracker at the same time and along with my phone. And definitely does seem to be really accurate with the, the tracking. Uh, I was able to get this from Walmart on sale for, I believe, $120. When it's drawn me like $150. Uh, so there are sales on this. This one has been out for, you know, about eight months now. So you definitely get it on sale. Uh, but be wary that there'll probably be a new Fitbit Charge 3 sometime in the fall uh, before Christmas. So kind of have that in the back of your mind. If you get it now during the summertime, when you're halfway through the uh, the cycle refresh, just be aware that, you know, they could definitely, you know, refresh it on you and you're not going to have the latest and greatest. But if you're okay with that, I could definitely recommend it. Um, or that you enjoy this tracker. It does everything that you need. Uh, the notifications are great. Um, what I've been doing at work is I've just been completely muting my phone uh, so I can you know, go into meetings and have my phone vibrate and I can also keep track of things on my on my wrist so I can definitely discreetly uh, keep track of all notifications um, in a discreet manner so I definitely do appreciate that without having my phone completely vibrate and then whenever I get off work I take my phone off and mute so overall I would definitely recommend this tracker I'd probably give it you know overall maybe a a seven out of 10. I believe if it was a color screen, it'd probably definitely get an eight out of 10 uh, for me personally. And if it was just at the hundred dollar price mark, it would you know, go overboard for me. Um, it is a little more expensive than the other ones. And I don't see that the huge you know benefit in paying extra. Anyways, guys, once again, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos, reviews of tech like this Fitbit Charge 3, go ahead and sub to the channel, guys. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.